How you doing everybody? Um, this is Jason from Schleiss Bow and Supplies. Um, today I wanted to talk about refinement techniques on deciduous trees. Uh, this particular tree is a trident maple. It was in the ground for years. Dug up, put in a bulb pan, had a large wound in the back. Put it back in the ground for years. Um, pulled it out about five years ago and started working on the structure. There's a couple things that I wanted to address when you do a trident maple. We're a vigorous growing deciduous tree. A lot of times when they are growing, it's difficult to get twigginess, to, to get them to look like branches instead of long shoots. Because when a trident maple grows, it grows inner nodes. You get an inner node shoot, and then two sets of leaves, and then another inner node shoot, and then two sets of leaves. And as that's growing, the first inner node shoots gets longer and longer. So it's difficult to keep them tight and compact. So one of the ways we address this is in the winter when it's dormant and we can see the structure, we re reset that structure. Cut the long inner nodes that are on the tips back to the first set of dormant buds so they'll pop close and we'll get some good refinement. Um, we also reset the structure of the branch um, to twos to where if there's any convoluted areas or areas where you have a whole bunch of branches or if you have uh, an area of reverse taper of some clutter, um, that gets addressed as we come in and trim. And we're always bringing our bonsai trees back into proportion. Now, if you're aggressively addressing the branches, you're not gonna get much thickening. And usually when we have a really large trunk like this, we like to have our first branch um, to be about a quarter of the size of the thickness of the trunk. But trident maples thicken up pretty quickly. And if you have one little shoot in the back, that you can let grow unrestricted, it'll thicken this up exponentially. And that's kind of like a trade-off where you'll have a sacrificial branch in the back and you can also trim the fronts um, to where you're gonna have a thick branch but you're also gonna get um, some refinement. This sacrificial isn't gonna grow quite as fast as if you had just a singular shoot and let it grow, but you'll be able to address both issues. You'll be able to thicken the, the branch and you'll be able to refine it. And then when it's ready, you cut the sacrificial branch off, seal it with cut paste, and then continue to work your structure. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on my structure. I'm not really worried about thickening up these branches yet because this is still probably about three to five years away f from when I want to show it. The top's very thin, the taper's very extreme, um, but these are apically dominant and this will thicken up very quickly this year. Uh, and I will start addressing uh, some sacrificials at the next trimming, but right now I'm just going to cut for structure. This particular shoot right here, if you can see it has a, a cluster of one, two, three, four, five, six shoots, and it's because it was trimmed here. Um, this is creating reverse taper. It filled up visually this last year, but the whole thing is going to be removed right here to where we have twos. And what that'll do is now we have a nice structure of two. Tridents are so great with the amount of buds that they will issue, but your job is to select the ones you're going to keep and remove all of them that you're not. It looks like you ruined all your, your branching and your twigginess. But actually what we do is any areas that are straight, that have no interest, that are lacking taper, um, we're bringing it back in. We're activating more dormant buds. We're making it more um, interesting. There's no straight sections. We're making it more compact. We're eliminating inner nodes that will never back bud. If you have long straight sections, um, such as this here, this will never back butt in this area. But if you take that long straight shoot and you cut it here, these two dormant buds will waken up. So instead of having an inner node that's an inch and a half, two inches, you have an inner node that's an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch right there. And that's more interesting for bonsai. See these long straight shoots? They will never back butt. So if we were cutting this on a branch, we would take it all the way back down to the first or second inner nodes so you have some so you activate those buds. If you don't do that, it'll just grow on the tips and you'll always have those long straight sections and the thicker they get, um, the longer it takes for you to cut them back 
the longer you're going to have to wait before you um, uh, will develop a good tight structure when you trim it five years down the road. So the trick is to do it now when it's young and improve it so when it finally gets to the point where this has got a full canopy with good structure it's extremely twiggy, it's extremely branched out. But this is um, about, this is the second year on the top here. Uh, this right here is on the third year, some of these lower branches. Um, to just show you how fast you can you can develop trident maple. Um, although the trunk is really old, this initial restyle was within the last five years. There wasn't a single branch on here. So in another five years, this would be a very beautiful, very beautiful tree. Thanks for watching, guys.